Tungabhadra came near Manchali Amma. It was the 1st October 2009. I was busy preparing for the Mantralaya Navabrindavana tour. Organizing such tours twice or thrice a year became a routine affair for me. After the release of my book Navanidhi Nalgum Navabrindavanam. English version The Bountiful Navabrindavana. And the Yatra group comprised about 40 or 50 members to be escorted on each occasion. Such tours are conducted in March, April or May to coincide respectively with Sri Vyasaraja, Sri Kavindra, Sri Srinivasa Tirtha Aradhana. And again in October when the heat would be comparatively less. From Chennai a visit to Navabrindavana and back will take 3 days. If one more day is added, that is in four days, starting from Mantralaya, many places which would encompass also Kondapur, Madhavaram, Panchamukhi, Bikshalaya, Kallur, Manvi, Navabrindavana, Hampi, Old Vijayanagara, Yantrodharaka Hanuman, Kurandragatta, Malayvanta Parvata, Virupakshishwara Temple, and in Anegondi, the Anjanadri, Pampasarova, and Durga Hill and the place where Rama had shot his arrow at Vali which figure, figures in the Kishkinda Kanta may all be seen with explanatory guidance during these tours that will provide a kind of spiritual experience and contentment since a couple of culinary specialists to cater to the needs of the touring group form part of the complement Timely coffee, tiffin and food supply should enhance the pleasure of the Yatra. These trips where are being organized on the basis of equal sharing of the cost, apart from the rail fares to be met individually. After my elder daughter's marriage in June 2008, her in-laws were wanting to visit Navabrindavana in my company. Despite several endeavors, they could join me only in the trip of October 2009. It was planned in the tour itinerary to leave Chennai at night on 1st October 2009 and advance bookings had been done accordingly. Devotees, numbering 54 in all, were in readiness for the holy trip. For four others, after their Ahobila Darshan, were to join our group in Mantralaya on 2nd October. Besides the excitement of the Yatra, I was thrilled by the expectation to meet at, the, at Mantralaya Miss Shanti of Kovil Patti and her uncle Sri G. Subramanian, President of the Raghavendra Pushpanjali Committee. Particularly Shanti who used to always address me on the phone as Anna and talk to me at length about Sri Guru Raja and his mysterious deeds as also about my publications. Sri Subramanian, in the footsteps of his father, has been celebrating Sri Raghavendra Aradhana at Kovil Patti from June 1978. Annadana has also been a regular feature in such celebrations. Sri Subramanian is hopeful that the legacy will be continued by his son after him. His family strictly follows the religious practices like observance of Ekadashi Upavasa, Salagrama Puja and the like always drowned in Sri Raghavendra Bhakti. Sri Raghavendra has appeared in Sri Subramanian's dream on several occasions and even proffered advices to be passed on to others. He was taking a busload of men devotees as an exclusive group to Mantralaya every year from 1984 on the third Thursday of the Tamil Purutasi month. This continued for 17 years and from the 18th year all his family members along with 10 or 15 other families started going on such yatra by rail. After the publication of my Navanidhi Nalgum Navabrindavanam in 2006, Navabrindavana too was added in the tour pro program of Sri Subramanian's party. And every year they started doing collectively the Vastra Seva, Golden Chariot Seva, the Gold Kavacha Seva and the like at Mantralaya. Thus, for celebrating the Silver Jubilee of their tour organization, 
one day shanti asked me anna this year we want to perform at mantralaya all the sevas from morning till the closing time at night can you therefore find out how much it would cost i got the information from mantralaya and conveyed to her and instantly asked her when the year proposed trip was to materialize she replied as usual during the season this time we are starting on september 29 are you also coming at that time anna we shall start on 1st october night and be at mantralaya at noon on 2nd october if so i am very eager to meet you there on the afternoon of 2nd october anna the group of 60 from kovilpatti of which shanti was a member left the place for mantralaya in the morning of 29th september 2009 the tour party comprised 10 children 10 senior citizens 15 persons with bp sugar complaints besides others and when the group reached mantralayam road station at 6 am on 30th september 2009 wednesday it was raining there heavily but somehow they managed to get into the vans and reach the arya vyasa chowdhury in mantralaya where they had booked 15 rooms in advance in the second floor it was the ekadashi day and even as the skies were unrelenting in their downpour the devotees had their holy bath in the tungabhadra and following that the darshan of sri guru raja of course those who had vowed to perform anga pradakshina and the like completed such rituals with great devotion unmindful of the wet condition they witnessed the moolarama puja performed by the pitadibadi sri suitindra teetha and left by vans at 2:30 pm to have darshan at madavaram panchamukhi and bikshalaya returning to mantralaya at 6 pm at night sri subramanian prompted all members to have an early bath and be ready by 4 am at the mat on the morrow thursday and dwadashi day for participation in the sevas to commence at that hour urging everyone to go to sleep early it was pouring cats and dogs at night but early in the morning everyone got ready and was present at the mat promptly and with great devotion at heart to participate in the pujas to begin the torrent was unceasing even at that hour at 4:30 am on 1st october 2009 thursday there was pallaki seva in which the devotees participated shouldering the palanquin themselves they then witnessed the other pujas with great bhakti and contentment at heart and after teetha prasad returned to their lodgings it was the program of the group to travel to navabrindavana the next day and after darshan they returned to mantralaya late in the evening when they would meet me at mantralaya the leader of the group contacted anegondi at 11 am to confirm their navabrindavana journey and follow up the arrangements made there for darshan but the voice at the other end presented a small dismal picture advising please don't come it's raining here in torrents even if you come here tomorrow the corkles boats cannot negotiate the river because of heavy inundation and the swirling of the waters besides there is danger of being caught in the onrush of the river therefore you should avoid journeying to navabrindavana in such grim situation sri subramanian and his group then reconciled themselves that it was perhaps rayer's desire that they should remain in mantralaya for one more day in the evening of 1st october 2009 they witnessed the silver golden chariot procession procession and after participation in the evening pujas took prasada at 8 pm and came out of the mat and lo what awaited them there was the scene of the rising tungabhadra river touching the steps of the manchali amma temple sri subramanian without knowing what was in store for the devotees in the next few hours drew the attention of others and observed i had seen such violent onrush of the river in 1992 and after that only now i am witnessing such spectacle it's presenting an alluring sight keeping our eyes 
transfixed at it. The others in the group were also engrossed then in eyeing the rare phenomenon. Soon there was an announcement over the loudspeaker, warning the public not to sleep at the temple entrance and urging that none should go to the riverside. The devotees from Povilpati then wended their way to their apartments and after having darshan of the Gopura on the Brindavana of Sri Raghavendra from the second floor of their lodging house, went to bed peacefully with the contentment that they were indeed the blessed ones to have performed all the sevas to Sri Guru Raja on a Guruvara, Thursday, graced by him that way. Let us now turn our attention to what happened to the group that was leaving Chennai for Mantralaya at almost the same time.